back to our stream. Today we're gonna be riding in the car with Charlie. Charlie the dog. This is my life. This is my life. Charlie, get out of here. Who made my laptop wet? Just sticking. Go. Okay. Get out of the car, Charlie. Legit, my life. Get in the back. No. Stop being a fucking cow. You're fussing at him to get in the back. He's just responding to you. I know. <laughs> okay. We'll see, maybe. Hello, guys. So, it's Sunday. Hey, boys. It's Sunday, and we are actually heading out of town to go to the movies, and we're going to stop by this store to get some sausage casings because Judah, right here, shot his first deer yesterday. And dad is making summer sausage and we have to put it in casing. So we've got to go to, what's that store called? Academy Sports. Academy Sports, just to see if they've got it. If not, maybe Walmart will have it. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. Going out to eat. I've got to pick up groceries from Aldi's this evening before we come home. I think we just ran something over in our driveway. We got a weird donkey here. Anyway. That's our plans for today. What do you think about our plans for today? <laughs> really excited. <sighs> Dean's like, I gotta take oh, all these kids out. <laughs> we have to prep ourselves when we Let's go do places. Fun with the boys, she says. <laughs> <laughs> we, have to, we have to get ourselves prepped, our minds ready when we take all these kids, all these crazy guys out places. <laughs> anyway. Now look, I need. When I open them a little bit, I, I take my middle finger out and just... Mm. Do you want some soy sauce tapes? Mm. Oh, okay. Use some soy sauce too. Actually, so what you can do here is try this. You want to try one with soy sauce? Hey guys, so it's Tuesday right before lunch and I thought I would head outside and do a little bit of cleanup in the yard and I thought that I would take you guys along with me because it's been a while since I've shown you um, how some of our summer and autumn projects have turned out, I guess, or where they are now at this point in the year. Um, I spent a couple of weeks slowly putting all of the gardens to bed for winter. Um, so I thought I would flip the camera around and show you what they look like right now. Um, and then kind of give you a little bit of updates on some of the house projects, outdoor house projects really quickly. It won't take too long. Um, just to kind of catch you guys up since it has been a while. Okay. So sorry for the mess. I have been kind of cleaning up and there's some stuff over here that I need to pick up and put away. Um, anyway, these are the front uh, and then the front garden bed along the house right here, front garden beds that I have put to bed for winter. I basically remulched all of these, pulled out old dead, dead plants. Um, we did add some more rock in the sparse places right through here in our little pathway that goes around. You can see that normally the things that are here, if you've watched any of my spring, summer, autumn vlogs are no longer here because they have, the tops have all died. Um, and most of the time I kind of leave that stuff up for a little bit, but eventually when it starts looking really bad, I pull it out and remulch over everything just to make sure that all of the roots of the plants are nice and warm and cozy for the winter. We have not had a bad winter so far here. Um, you can see this bed. I've got a bunch of rocks right here that we pulled out. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. We'll probably end up moving them, but right here, you know, I typically have hostas and some other plants through here that are completely covered now. Now, this is my foxglove and there's one on the other side too and it's actually doing okay and still has some nice green growth so I didn't cover it up. But anyway, all of the other stuff is covered nice and snug for the cold months. All of the tops, like I said, have died off. 
and um, right here in this area, if you guys watched my videos last spring, you'll know that I have a ton of bulbs there. Prashinkia, I think is how you pronounce one of them. It grows along the front and I have a bunch of tulips. And it has been so warm this winter that I actually thought that maybe some of the tops would start popping up because a bunch of my daffodil tops have popped up. There's a little something, but I think that's a weed. I don't think that's an actual part of a bulb. Anyway, um, I'll take you over in just a second and show you the garden over by the shop because I have a ton of daffodil bulbs popping up over there where we had such warm weather. Um, but anyway, this is the front yard. If you guys remember, we did a bunch of work getting it all flat. And we still have some like straw and there's areas where the grass hasn't completely come back. But for the most part, the grass is doing really well. Our pond, we had cleaned out last year and the parrot feather is still growing on the top of it, but we're gonna have to figure out how to finish dealing with that so it doesn't take over the pond again. Um, this little pond stream project has been an ongoing thing and it's one of those things that's gonna continue to need some work. So we've had some trouble with the dam. Um, water keeps wanting to go around it and it's kind of slowly leaking out the sides, even though it's still pouring over the top. So, so you can see right here, there's water pouring out of that hole and just flowing around the dam. And it's still coming over the top. Now we did get a bunch of rain, so maybe that's why, but this is just an ongoing thing. We've got to figure out how to really shore up the soil around the dam and only have water coming over the top. We'll eventually fix all these rocks to make a pretty cascade right there. And we have to add a little bit more of this paper right along the edges here when we get this part. I guess when we kind of decide we're done working on this part and we're not gonna be digging over here anymore, then we'll add some weed paper to the side. Um, we will end up filling the bed here with all these little rocks. And that's probably what I'll do with all those rocks over on the front garden bed is pull those over here and just throw them in. We actually, I think we're always gonna get leaves and sticks in here. So there's not much we can do about that, but we wanna fill this with pretty rock and just let the water kind of cascade and trickle through. The sides will be covered in mulch and there'll be some plants that are planted along the side and there'll be some like landscaping rocks through here. So this is something that we wanna finish up this year. Um, we'll probably pull this landscape fabric up on the edges just a bit all the way down the side just so I can mow and I don't have to get too close to the slope because knowing me, I'll mow over that paper and rip it all out. <laughs> so anyway, this is the project so far water is moving and flowing, but like I said, we've got issues with the dam up there. Um, and we actually sort a ton of rock right through there that'll go in this little bed. So we'll be moving all of that later. Um, we haven't done any work along the backside there and all along the back of the pond. We had it leveled and flattened, but we've not done any work. There's a ton of rock over there that needs to be picked up. So yeah, let's walk over here to the shop and I'll show you what this garden bed right over there looks like. Now, one thing you may have noticed from my past videos is that we used to have a big red truck right there and that has recently been moved um, because the people we bought this property from, they left a couple, um, actually three of their trucks here. One was right there and then we have two more inside and they've taken two of them. There's just one that's in parts that they need to come and get. And then all of their stuff will be gone, which is great because I am really glad to have that space there for parking and we'll clean up that area eventually. We're actually gonna rip out this fence and that gate and we've got a bunch of burning bushes right there. We're gonna rip all of that stuff out at some point, put in like a wrought iron fence and an electric gate, redo like this hedge kind of thing on that side. Anyway, we've got a lot of plans for that. So. Right here is the shop garden, and you can see just over there, very, very tiny little daffodil <laughs> bulbs are popping up. Um, this is my rose from last year. Now, I cut that thing back. Probably, I probably had about two feet of it sticking out of the ground, and it has grown insanely this last year. <laughs> it's almost as, well, I guess I'm taller than that, but it feels like it's taller than me. Anyway... This is a David Austin Rose called The Poet's Wife, and she is a wild woman right now. So in very early spring, I will cut her back again, almost two thirds of it gone. 
about a third of it sticking out of the ground and yeah let it go again and you can see here there's barely anything on the ground because everything has been covered up I redid all of the rock here we have a bunch of this like ground cover carpet kind of grass thing you can see it right there but it typically grows here but I covered up with rocks it'll pop back up here are some paper whites that popped up and then again right here are a bunch of daffodil bulbs coming up and then I've still got some yarrow right there um, and yeah let's see I don't think there's anything else popping up through here actually you know I planted a bunch of yellow tulips but they never came up last year so I don't know what was up with that but right here I have something coming up and I'm wondering if it's those yellow tulips I'm not sure I say where are you going <laughs> you're crazy running around with no shoes on Okay, so the next update I want to show you is our garage conversion. We're taking this and making it into like a homeschool slash study room. We pulled out our garage door and we had to put some siding around here. We basically just took our flooring, put it up and painted it because eventually all the siding is going to come off this house and we're going to have different siding. So we didn't know what to do that was cheap and not going to be a ton of money and a waste of that money right now. Um, so we just took our flooring and painted it and I don't love it but it also doesn't look horrible because we do have like the white trim on the house already we do have a little patch right there we gotta fix but I love these doors these are French doors they open up they're completely done we have glass in them they have been stained and polyurethane we just need to get door handles on but let me take you in and show you what we're doing so far on the inside hi <laughs> okay I'm sorry that I'm probably very echoey in here, but it is what it is. <laughs> all right, so ceiling and all of the walls have been finished. Um, Dean has done these side walls, but we keep having issues with the beadboard popping off. So he's got, he's got it nailed up, but it's still kind of wanting to pop off. And we do run like some propane heat in here for now, just to kind of keep this room from getting too moist I guess because the first time we did this beadboard it bowed because we hadn't finished the doors over here yet and so it was just kind of exposed to the the weather um, so it bowed so we ripped all that off and got rid of it did it again and it's still coming off now so Dean's gonna do some liquid nails and re-nail it back on with liquid nails behind it and hopefully that will keep it in place he also when he took this off the first time he also put um, some sort of like board back there I'm not sure what kind of board he did put back there but it's it's on there and he'll just take the liquid nails and glue it let me show you guys can you see there's some sort of like board right here so he'll glue all that re-nail it um, we actually hi Charlie you're so handsome we actually built a wall here because before there was our water heater right there and then our door that goes into our laundry room is right back there and I wanted a wall so that you couldn't see any of that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couch down here because we have to be able to access our crawl space we can't close this up so we're gonna put a couch here um, we'll paint and make that look a lot nicer and I'll put like a photo there or not a photo like a big piece of art or something and some hanging plants we're gonna put some twinkle lights up there there's like a little hidden area um, we're gonna redo the stairs with the flooring, put flooring down and we'll put a rail, like a chair rail right there. Not a chair rail, what do you call that? A stair rail? <laughs> Just some sort of rail. Anyway, um, so at this point, we are ready to prime. Um, Dina's gonna do the liquid nails and this stuff tonight. And then tomorrow, we should be ready to prime this entire, all the surfaces in this entire space. Um, once that's done and we've painted it, then we can do these tops of these boards. I am not sure what that is doing there. Where? Okay. Anyway, we're going to put the tops on the walls here. It'll just be like a piece of wood and it'll be painted white and it'll provide kind of like a shelf all the way around because we had to hide. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. We had to hide the block that was under there, so we had to make the walls pop out. Anyway, you can kind of see the block way back under there. So once those two things are done, all the painting's done, and then these little 
which we don't have to do these next. I don't know when Dean will actually do this. We have to get this stuff painted and then Dean will do the flooring. And when that's done, we can do lights. We can hang our light fixtures and then we could probably do the rail, the little shelves next if we wanna do that then. Um, and that's pretty much it. Once those things are done, lights, shelves, flooring, painting, we're ready to start moving stuff in. So, really excited. We're gonna move our old kitchen table right here and we are gonna get a new kitchen table. Like I said, we'll have a couch there, um, some lamps and things like that, maybe some bookshelves just for the boys. Cause like I said, it's gonna be homeschool rooms. So they can sit at the table. They can sit on this couch if they want to. Um, <clears throat> we'll have maybe like a desk over here, maybe another comfy little chair right there. I'm not really sure yet what all we're gonna do and where we're gonna put everything. But at this point, this is the plan and this is the big update so far. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday and I am getting ready to leave to go to see students here in just a minute. Dean is already gone with the three older boys. Um, it's If you haven't watched my videos, then that's like our church's youth group kind of night and Dean and I lead that up with some other adult volunteers and it's for middle school and high school students. We have it broken up into two different times, um, two hours for the middle schoolers and then two hours for the high schoolers. So middle school is actually 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, and then the high schoolers are 9th through 12th grade. Um, my two older boys, Judah and Isaiah, are in the middle school class, but um, my third, Uriah, he is in 4th grade, and he actually went with them tonight because he has some friends he wants to play with while they're there. So anyway, the three of them are gone, and it's just Ezra and I here. Um, so Ezra is playing video games right now. I just got ready, I've gotta get him ready, and then we're gonna go. But I thought I would hop on here really quickly because I got some stuff in the mail from Amazon today that I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm really excited about a couple of these things. Now, the first thing that I got is not all that exciting. I needed some new trace mineral drops. Um, we have reverse osmosis system that we use whenever like I cook or I water my flowers with them or my indoor plants. Um, feed the pets, we drink that water. And so if you know anything about reverse osmosis, it takes everything out of the water, including the minerals. And so we add these trace mineral drops into our water when we're drinking them and I was out. So I needed another bottle of this. So I got this, this is um, from the trace mineral or Contrace brand. You guys can see it's probably backward for you, but anyway, I'll link to this in the description box below if you're interested. Anyway, got that. And then I also bought this little contraption. So I wanted to wash some of Dean's hats where he's just worn them and they've gotten dirty. And I found this ball cap, like it's like a little contraption that pops open and you put the hat in here and then you clamp it back down and you can either wash it in your washing machine or on the top rack of your dishwasher. Now I have heard that it works better in the dishwasher than the washing machine. So I'm gonna try that first and see how it goes, but it came in a three pack I don't remember how expensive it was. It was like $15. It's just cheapo plastic. Um, but I read the reviews. There were good reviews. It said they held up well and it did work. So I am excited. This looks really big though for a cap. Like it looks really big. But maybe guys hats are that big. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try this and I'll let you guys know um, if it works well or not. And I'll link to this in the description box below too if you have also been wanting to wash some ball caps. Now, this last thing is something I'm excited about. This is a water bottle, but it's a 64 ounce water bottle. So if you've been following me for long, I think I probably mentioned before that I'm really bad about like drinking enough water throughout the day. Um, sometimes I'll make like a large quart size infusion and I'll drink that and then I'll fill up little cups of water here and there. Um, but I would like to have a health goal this year of actually drinking enough water throughout the day. So my friend, Lindsay, on Instagram, um, her handle is holistic and hopeful, and I'll link to that in the description box below. She has an amazing Instagram page. I always learn so much from her, and she's super inspiring, and she sells homemade uh, like herbal skincare products that oh, they're beautiful and divine and just so healthy for your body. Anyway, check her out um, in the description box below. But she got one of these and I she shared it in her stories. And I was like, where did you get that? I need one. But anyway, it's got times throughout the day. So every two hours from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. So this is perfect for me. Um, 
and it tracks your water and it gives you little encouraging words as you drink your water throughout the day. Um, and then on the back side, it gives you like a guide with times as to how quickly to drink your water. And then of course there are ounces on this side. This is a 64 ounce bottle of water. So that's about what I should have every single day here about. Um, and so I'm excited to wash this out, fill it with water each day and try to drink the whole thing each day. Um, I'm not going to beat myself up or feel guilty if I don't get it all drank in one day because developing a habit of drinking water is exactly that. It's a habit. It's something that you have to practice. Um, it does come with a straw and I have some brushes that will get down and clean the straw because it doesn't come with a brush to clean the straw. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you. I'll link to this on Amazon as well in the description box below in case you also would like to set a goal of drinking a certain amount of ounces of water a day because that's a good healthy habit to have. But here's hoping that having this bottle will help keep me on track, drinking a certain amount of water every two hours. It says until 10 or till 9 p.m., which I guess is fine because I normally don't go to bed until 11. So that's two hours before going to bed. So hopefully I won't be up going to the bathroom all night if I stop drinking water at nine. We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to go get Ezra ready and then we're going to head out and go to see students. So I will catch up with you guys later. Bye. So it's Friday evening and Dean and I are going out on a date. We have been leaving the boys at home and sticking around our local area probably for, I don't know, what, three or four months we've been doing this. We took a break around the holidays. We didn't go out and do any of these little dates, but three months probably before that. And we wanted to get started again because it's nice for us to be able to just get out and go eat somewhere. Um, what, like 15 minutes from the house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the boys are old enough to stay by themselves now. Judah's a teenager, so he's pretty responsible. Um, while we're gone, they have one of our cell phones and um, they'll call or Judah will text me if he needs anything. Um, yeah, and it's nice. So today, oh, we're going to the pizza place, right? So we're going to this little local pizza place. Um, they have a lot of other foods, not just pizza, but we really like it there and I think these people, they're not from here. What is the kind of pizza that they make? Is it like a specific style? Chicago style pizzas? Those, aren't those deep dish? These are like thick pizzas. There's lots of toppings on them. They're really tasty, whatever the sauces they make or however they make their toppings are cooked over there. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, and so if we want pizza, that's usually where we go here. Uh, where we live. So, going on a date tonight. Gonna get pizza and a dessert. You're getting wings, you said. Uh, hopefully, the boys are not going to kill each other while we're gone. <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> we said, don't go outside. Um, I don't know what they're doing. Playing video games? Watching TV? Right now, yeah. <laughs> they're cooking their clam chowder soup. So, yeah, that's our plans. Clam Friday. chowder and Ritz. So, dinner for them costs six bucks today. It's true. That's like a quick, a quick meal. We don't have to plan it. We can just run to Dollar General. <laughs> yeah, go to Dollar General, get them some cans of um, decent, like clam chowder soup. It's probably, it's definitely not the healthiest meal. I mean, clam chowder soup's not too bad, but Ritz, they're tasty. Anyway, um, it's fun for them to be able to do that while we're gone on a date. So it makes it a fun evening for them, and it's nice for us because we get to get out for an hour or an hour and a half. So. Friday plans. So, um, Dean is out here working on the study and, um, the last time I was in here and I gave an update in this video was like a couple days ago and I was telling you that he was going to do liquid nails on the bottoms of the wall and re-nail it up. So, Hub, you can you give the update. I did. Well, yeah, because... <laughs> Hey, we're going, we're learning as we go for sure. So it didn't work because why? They were already too bowed and it wouldn't stick. Oh, right. So I had to go and buy a new panel. But I did do, so we did the first time was just paneling on the studs that didn't work. Mm -hmm. So learn that problem. So then we went and got plywood, put it on the studs, put the paneling on the plywood. 
but then that didn't work because there's just too much moisture out here, I guess. And there's not a heat pump yet. Yeah, so we have, we, I say we, uh, Dean has ripped the paneling off the walls twice. This is the third time, and this is, fingers crossed, the last. He's got um, a dehumidifier in here this time. We're keeping the doors locked so that they don't accidentally get left open. <clears throat> um, <laughs> and he has painted the primer, right? You did you do that yeah, side? Yeah, just on the okay. primer. Yeah, so just, just primer to kind of seal it so you can see, like right here, we've sealed this part. Hopefully that just kind of keeps any moisture that is in the room out and it doesn't bow again. And so today you are what? Uh, well, so we did sheetrock on anything that we added and we mm -hmm. patched a lot of sheetrock, you can see all that, and we did sheetrock on the ceiling, but a lot of this is still the original sheetrock. So I'm just wiping it down because it's 20 some odd years old and it was a garage, so it had a lot of fill lines. So we'll just soak the water, trying to get it cleaned up so that we can get kills on everything. Primer on everything. That's right. Blank slate. Okay, so that's our end of the week update on this room. Hopefully next week we will be updating you and showing you a completely primed room and then maybe hopefully by the end of the week. It, yeah, it really depends on the weather. It's supposed to snow really badly this weekend, but I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, so it's Sunday and as you can see outside, it is snowing. I don't know. I think hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Anyway, um, we are supposed to be getting a big snow this weekend. We've got about two inches out there and we're supposed to get between eight and 12 inches. It's supposed to snow the rest of the day today, all night tonight, and then all day tomorrow. So, um, up in the mountains, they'll probably get a little bit more. Well, we are up in the mountains, but high up on the mountain, they'll probably get a little bit more than where we will right here in the valley. Um, so I don't know, the last couple of snows that they've called for, we did not get as much as they said we were gonna get, but this one is coming down pretty steadily. It's a wet snow, it's packing, it's kind of slushy right now, but it's supposed to get cold tonight. So we'll see if it accumulates or not. Anyway, the boys are loving that we're actually getting some snow and they'll probably want to play in the snow uh, tomorrow. So anyway, I just wanted to jump on here really quickly and wrap up this week's vlog to tell you about the snow. Um, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little catch up and all the things that we've been up to lately. Um, if you did enjoy the video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll probably jump back on in this next week's vlog and tell you guys a little bit about our homeschool schedule for this spring semester. Um, this last week, this week that you're watching right now on the vlog was our first week back to our homeschooling after our winter break. And because I kind of changed our school schedule around a little bit, um, this spring semester is different than what we normally would be doing. So I thought I would share some of that, a little homeschool update with you guys next week. If you're interested in that, be sure to come back and check it out. Um, I'll have a new video up next Monday. So definitely come back and check that out. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys have a good rest of the week and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.